welcome guys so in this video we are going to cover some normal javascript programs which everyone will ask in the interviews whether you are an angular developer where you are a react developer or dot net or the java everyone has to face some of the javascript programs okay so we will just focus on some famous or rather than let's say everyone will ask some of this just to conclude the interview after all the theoretical question everyone will ask try to ask and check the knowledge based on the programs okay so let's see the famous one so as you can see first is the remove duplicates from the array so this again you might have seen let's consider like this is an array we have some like let's say a is twice then b is also twice e is also twice so what if i need the unique array so with es6 we have set operator so with set operator we can get the unique so as you can see the syntax is pretty simple square bracket three dot the new set and in that we have to pass the array so this is the default method what we have using new set okay next is someone will ask you like without using def uh, default method how we can do that so without using default method we can get the unique using filter so as you can see array dot filter then function so for function we are going to have two parameter first is the item and second is the position so in that return in that see in the filter again we have the return statement here we will be checking like array index of item is, is equal to position okay if not we get the particular that character okay so read output will be the same first we have to write array dot filter then function we have to pass two parameter first is the item and second is the position then in, inside that we have we have to again return we have to write the return then array this is the logic index of item is equal to is equal to position that's it okay this also this is the another method which is not by default okay so these are the two ways you can remember next is famous Fibonacci series again the logic is with these three lines only okay so first we have to first we have to create the two variables like uh, n1 and n2 and we can initialize it from 0 and 1 and one more variable which doesn't have any value okay so in the for loop what we have to do first we have to store first we have to print the n1 because it is going to start with n1 okay then in the next we have to store n1 plus n2 so in the next we have n1 plus n2 then n1 we are modifying with n2 and in n2 we are assigning the next just these three lines you need to remember so you get the same output 0 1 1 2 3 5 okay so this is the Fibonacci series someone will ask you like whatever the number i pass i want to print the Fibonacci series until that so you can just use the prompt so prompt allows you to get a text uh, text box alert box with the text box so there once user enters that you will get in the number then this number you can pass up in the for loop up to length so this way like you will print the Fibonacci series number up to whatever the number you pass okay then reverse string this is again most the famous one so reverse string let's say demo is there so we want to just reverse it first using by default methods so we have a split method split method what what it does it will it will gives us the array of string so d e m o so four uh, four different array we will get then we are using reverse method which uh, works on the array okay then we get the reverse array of that string then we just have to join it back using empty so you got the reverse string this is using default methods default functions okay so someone will ask like everyone will ask like this is a default so how can you do with program so again second way is using for loop so as you can see in the you know we have we have just created a function uh, original string whatever the string we have to reverse will come as a parameter we have created a local variable reverse string so we have used the for loop for loop starting with now we have to use the for loop from coming from backward okay so string dot length minus one this is the maximum we can so last if we have to pick the index so we need the last we have to start from the last then we are comparing with i less than greater than up to zero and i minus minus so this is just the change okay then we have to append the whatever the character we get from the last 
okay we are just appending into the reverse string and then we are going to return so these are the two ways how we can reverse the string first using by default functions and second using for loop next is again swap number so same as like the fibonacci series we have to we can use the additional variable as you can see we have got two number first a and second b okay we have created one variable that is stem so first in the temp we are storing whatever the value we have we have got in a okay so now the first value we have stored in a temp right so we can store the second value to the a so we are assigning a with the value of b now b value got placed into the a now we just have to place a value back to the b so we have stored the a value into the temp now we are assigning back b with the temp so that is the simple logic again with the swap number then next question is kind of uh, what we can say actual use map reduce of map reduce these are the operators we get so everyone should know the actual use of it okay so as you can see we have this array of object in that we have name id name city and population four fields are there let's consider i just need an array of id and name out of this okay this array consists consists this array array consists object of four properties but i just need a array of two properties that is id and name so how can i do it student array dot map then map our lambda expression object then while returning we have created the object so here we have just created two fields so i will get the array of only two fields okay this is a practical scenario use next is let's suppose i just need the id's array okay so in that case what we can do student array dot map i am just going to return i just need array of id so uh, here you can see we have used the object here i i just need the array of id so item dot id okay so you get the output like this next thing reduce so reduce uh, one more thing just to theoretical thing like map won't change the actual array so it won't change the student array okay it will always return something new so you will get something new in the new array okay now reduce so the difference between map is map you get what we can say you get you don't get a single value okay either you can get some objects array or a simple array or any other thing but with reduce we get a single value okay so we uh, reduce we normally use when we when we want to get the uh, sum out of something when we want minimum or max or something we need we just need a single value okay let's say in that array we have the population so let's say okay so let's say population is kind of uh, numbers we have let's say we just need a total of all the populations we have okay so what we can do student re, student array dot reduce then function in in the reduce operator in the reduce operator when we write the function we have to to by default callback so first is the accumulator and second is the whatever the object we actual object we have okay so here you can see return accumulator plus so accumulator is like what is the default value so here you can see we have set the default value to zero so first time it will zero plus object dot population so all the it will kind of it will inside it will generate a for loop so we are just initializing the value with zero so you will get the single output okay this was this was with the array of object let's say we just have a simple array and we just need a sum of that so we can use array reduce function x and y so we can have x plus y and initialization will be zero okay so here we get the 44 this is about map and reduce next thing someone will ask you like some if someone has asked you questions of the prototype okay by going further he might ask you let's say i want to write a method my custom method which will work on all the string okay i want to write a method which work on all the type of string or all the type of number or all the type of date and time okay meaning is let me okay let's consider we have var name is equal to something demo is there now 
name dot so you can see this is in name we have stored string variables so we have got caret caret these are some methods we get let's say you can do one two three okay so now in roll number dot we get some different fields okay now dot caret anything it is not present over here because it is a number okay let's say where date is equal to new date and now if i say date dot so i get n number of different methods okay so the question is like how i have to create a method which will work on all the date let's say get time is there let's say get my time should be a method which i can call on all the type of date okay so this is the question so this is how we can do by using prototypal inheritance so you can see array dot prototype then my actual function name then function then my parameter will be there okay so this this is the method which i am which i am uh, what you can say creating it is for array okay so all the arrays type of uh, variable i will suggest my method then logic can be anything like this is a simple like search by regular expression is the function name then we are finding if we have found it then we are returning true otherwise returning false okay so this is how but if i say let's try this this is an array constant if i say const test value dot so we got length filter find every so let's try to create after find new one method will be there that is find new so let me copy paste this after this let me paste it and let's make it find new let's press enter and now if i say test value not sure like if it works if it will work in console find new yeah so you can see we have got it let's say and find new what we have john in the array john is there so let's say see if i am passing capital john so i am getting here two okay let's try john 3 so i get false this is the same logic we have we are just uh, trying to find that value is present over here or not and returning true and false so this is way because earlier find new was not present over there but now it is present over there because we have just added a method using prototype okay so this is a one of the way how we can write our own method on a particular data type okay next is this is kind of a tricky question someone will ask you like let's say i have created a function with two parameters and i have created another function with three parameter and will just show you like this like if add two and three i will try to invoke which function will execute now if you know the hoisting only the latest value will be there so the function which has add with number uh, three parameter will be executed there and if we pass there this only will execute okay because whatever the latest value we have because the function name is same so only the latest value value function uh, well uh, what you can say definition will be stored in the memory so only last function will be stored this when this won't be present okay so this is just a normal question another someone will ask you like how what are the multiple ways how we can empty the array so let's say we have this array so either we can use this with empty so we are just emptying the array then array list dot length is equal to zero so again we are just declaring the length of the array to zero then array list dot splice from starting from zero up to length so i am just removing everything from my current array again second with while we can use the pop 
up to while loop will uh, run up to we have the length then we are just removing using pop so these are the four possible ways how we can empty the array okay next is check a number is integer okay let's say we have num1 which is having store 1 2 3 then we have a string value then we have this so is none is one of the way by which we get like number is uh, present over there or not so as you can see first is the by default number then second is a string which containing the number so it will return the false I mean second will be written the same because in the when we use is none if it is a string or number it will check okay next and the, with the third we have a character abc so you can say true what we have got so is none is a function and we have to pass the uh, variable which is holding the value we will get true and false okay then find largest number among the three number so math is what we can say default we have so math.max math.mean we have so we can pass the array um, in this case we have the parameter so we will get it the last next is palindrome so palindrome again by using the same default methods or the functions we can use it let's say this is a string first we have to uh, convert that string to the lower case then we have to split okay so we have to store original value original value in the lower case into one variable string split lower dot split with empty okay then we have to create a second one the second one is sorry the first one will be lower case with whatever as it is exactly so a b b a will be stored in lower then we need the reverse so what we have did earlier first we have to split then reverse then join so we have to compare lower with str join which is reverse so if it is equal we can say like it is a palindrome stream otherwise not okay next is someone can ask you like how we can call this function multiply you can see normally we can see this is the normal way how we invoke the function but as you can see three is separately called okay so this is function currying okay someone will not ask you like what is function currying someone can ask you a uh, question like this like i need to execute a function like this so how can we do so it is just function carrying means function which is returning a function so you can see function multiply we have one parameter so this two will be caught over here inside that again we have a function and with a parameter so the three will goes over here okay so this is the function carrying then another interesting question is like how do we get like uh, the count of all the duplicates okay so as you can see in array we have one one is three times okay then two we have two times and three only once so we need object which will return a vas key and how many times that particular key is present in the array so you can see simple with for each we can get that array dot for each in an element so you can see we have created object here in object we have got count of element so particular element we will get then count element if it is zero that uh, the length is zero then we will get zero otherwise plus one every time we will we will be incrementing that so you get the object like this one is three times two is two times and three is one time only okay so these are the normal famous interview questions we face after the theoretical are done okay so just be prepared with all these hope you all like the video and whatever the programs we have taken if you have some update please do suggest and please do like and subscribe the video thank you